Martinez. The Portals album continues. Nymphology is the name of the... Pff, I'm not even sure if that's a word. Nymphology? Weren't nymphs like these it's almost like sirens, beauties, attractive women? Something like... She's turned something into ology, like psychology, sociology, biology, all of that stuff. I can't wait to see what this one is. Look, Tom Stevens. Resident psychotherapist, reaction therapy, loves Melanie Martinez and everybody who is a faithful follower of hers because it's the best comments I've ever heard in the group. Look, I can't wait for this. I can't wait. The Portals album continues without further ado. Oh my gosh, here we go. Melanie Martinez, Nymphology. What lesson shall I learn today? <laughs> That hair. Call me your nymph. Praise me for my edit. Praise me for sin. Mm. Call me your muse. A sprite or an elf you cry to then use. This is pretty good. <laughs> she can seriously yet sarcastically say some things that are like, I'm just gonna teach you. And you know, I'm a, I, I get on guys all the time in relationship for being too uh, ego-centered and too conceited. And just for um, not being nice to women. And it's not cool. But she really is good at laying out, like, I'm not your mother. I'm not here to do that. You're going to sit here and call me your muse, call me your toy, your, you know, arm candy, that kind of thing. <clears throat> what is this about? Like, if I'm that valuable, that's what I say about women. If they're that valuable, you treasure them, right? If you have a Tiffany crystal vase, it's worth $20,000. You're not just going to put it out on the counter in your house for somebody to take, steal, or break. You're going to put it somewhere special. So you treat them special. And I feel like she's leading up to, all right, here's your lesson on nymphology. I'm going to teach you right now. You think you're so smart. You think you're so cool. You think you just got it all. No, I don't play that. Sorry, I did not expect that to go. It's an anthology. It's my new term here, she's saying. So that's psychology. The manic pixie dream girl that you... It's like, guys, just be the be what I want you to be when I want you to be it. And they give nothing. Please do not give these guys the time of day. Please. It teaches them it's okay to act that way. Leave them alone and let them live alone. This is pretty cool. FYI. Come on, come on, come on. It's mythology, not psychology. Be the man of Pixie Dream Girl that you fucking ought to be. That Miss Oddity, but by Sotheby's. Hope you do a selfish man of things that he's a prophecy. Yep. You can't yep. even spell that you're an expert in mythology. <laughs> She <laughs> cracks me up. Talking directly to you dudes. I see them in my office all the time, y'all. I work with couples. I work with relationships, work with marriage. And I see guys that it's like, bro, you have got zero going for you. Like you might think they grade their paper super high. Like they just think they are it. And uh, as I say, they've got such a big ego. They don't even think they have one. They'll tell you, I don't have an ego. Like, what are you talking about? I don't think I'm that. They are so out of touch. You can't even spell, but you're an expert in nymphology. Like this, this term, like you, you're going to get a degree in something, you got to be able to spell. So you just think you got it? That's it? Melanie, you go. Melanie! One day 
I shall meet her and pick her brain on the wisdom that she has. You can't even spell, but you're an expert in mythology. <laughs> Sorry, she's gonna spell it for you. She's gonna spell. It. I'm gonna give you the letters because you don't even know how to spell. Like you're so out of touch. So good. I see this every day. It's probably why it irritates me, and I get on men all the time. Like, come on, quit acting like you're God's gift to the world. <laughs> Yep. I'm not fake. I won't lick your wounds today. But I'll throw you in the ring. Get you with my suffering. I'm not crazy. I'm not wild. You're just <laughs> stupid little child. You know, all the gaslighting that goes on of like, you're this, you're that, you're crazy, you're insane, you're too this, you're too that, you're not enough that. It's all the gaslighting, which is just telling you it's your fault when it's really not, so that you're convinced it's your fault, so that you take the blame, so that the other person doesn't have to. And that's all she's getting at. You know what? I'm not going to play your game, and I'm not going to be your arm candy, as I said, and trophy girl. While you're just stupid. Remember that phrase by Rick Warren who said, leaders create more leaders. Wannabes just create more followers. It's part of what she's saying here. You're acting like a wannabe. And wannabes who are people who just want to be at the top and want to have everything for the sake of the image just create more followers, more people that just dote on them and follow around them. And she's like, that's just not attractive to me. Leaders create more leaders. If you are a great man, you want your woman that's with you to feel like they are everything and that they're not second best. I won't be ashamed, yeah, for loving you so honestly. So sweet. You're in a spell and it worked, and I'm returning to her. <laughs> I'm kicking your ass out, like yep, 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 yep. Push your penis into your mouth, I'll make you choke on your doubt. Cut you off, watch you die. Still recovering. I can't believe she went there. I can't even go back. Nymphology, not psychology. Be the man <clears throat> pixie dream girl that you fucking ought to be. Part of the reason I wear hoodies with my wife's quotes on them. You can see that. Life is a series of choices over time. Jill, 24-7. No, it's not a Bible verse. Looks like one. But it's my wife. She is full of wisdom, beauty, amazement, love, caring, all that great stuff. Way smarter than I am. And if she ever leaves me, I'm going with her. <laughs> Love that. So cool. 
Like a cheerleader going now all of a sudden. This is completely different. made him So cool. I can't believe what I just saw there at the end. It was almost like three songs in one. Can I believe it? Melanie Martinez, Nymphology. I'm starting to get sad now. It's like vacation on like, you go away for vacation for a week. Last couple of days, you're like, mm, I could feel the end of this trip coming and going back home. And that sounds very depressing to me. Please create a new album. I know it's asking a lot, Melanie, every single year to do this, but it would be great if once a year we could have one just to be able to get us through to the next year. Remember, it's in real therapy. It's just time breaking down lyrics. If you want help, check the links in the description and please give us your comments. It is your turn to tell me what in the world is happening here. How far on or off topic am I with this? And I can't wait to see her in person in a concert. I missed portals totally. Can't wait for the next one. See you on the next Reaction Therapy.